I'd like to bring in Kevin Green, senior markets correspondent, to talk about CBS. CBS is down this morning on news of Blue Shield California ending its partnership with CBS Caremark. Tell us more about that. Yeah, we are seeing the shares down over 9.5% in the session here today, and that is because Blue Shield of California is uh, ending its uh, relationship or its contract with uh, CVS Caremark because of or CVS Health as its primary uh, pharmacy benefit manager. And instead, it's going to be diversifying its portfolio, working with several different companies like Amazon as well as Mark Cuban's Cost Plus Drug Company here. Now, the, uh, the reason why we are seeing this major move to the downside, not only for CVS, but also for Cigna, which is down over about 6.4%, is because there has been an issue between these insurers and these pharmacy benefit managers uh, about uh, negotiating costs. And they do believe, and there's a cohort out there that believes that they are actually part of the problem for rising healthcare costs. And so they are trying to adjust and diversify their portfolio. Amazon is actually going to be responsible for actually delivering prescription medications and offering upfront pricing. Mark Cuban's Cost Plus Drug Company will also aim to mitigate unexpected drug price, uh, cost uh, increases as well as uh, trying to uh, streamline the process. We also have some others that are going to be a part of this uh, coalition as well. So Blue Shield actually does anticipate around $500 million in annual drug expense savings after the strategy is fully implemented here. So, Nicole, this might be the first step of a change in the healthcare landscape here. Hopefully, it is going to be successful, and maybe we do see drug prices coming down here for the consumers like yourself and myself. All right. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you for that story, though. Um, important news. And what about applied materials? We have earnings after the bell. What are people focused on for that? Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting earnings announcement to say the least here. Now, they really do focus on be, uh, creating and building out the equipment needed for fabrication centers here. So they're going to be the first part of the supply chain for this ramp up in AI chips. And the market's actually looking for revenue to come in at $6.16 billion. That would be a decrease of about 5.6% year over year. And the adjusted earnings per share estimate is sitting at $1.73. That would be down about 10.8% on a year over year basis. But once again, we're going to be seeing how the semiconductor Conductor group uh, in general, their segment is going to be able to grow because other areas of the business, especially if you're looking at the display and adjacent markets, which is around the LCD, LED uh, screens and things of that nature, has seen a dramatic drop because PC sales have uh, been dropping and has not seen a bottom yet. So that's really what we're going to be focusing on here. What is their expansion strategy? And if they do see a lot of interest coming from some of its major customers like Samsung and Taiwan Semiconductor. All right. Thank you, Kevin Green. Thank you so much, Senior Markets Correspondent here on the TV Ameritrade Network.